Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Today we are heading out into the Black Dens because we have a lot of things we want to get done there. And everything can chase me there. Well, it could chase me there if I was actually going the right way. Oh, I was going the right way. It was just pointing me to a whole different quest. <laughs> Never trust the quest unless you have specifically highlighted the quest you want to follow. All right. Come on, you. Yep, get on my way. Is that it? I don't think that's what I'm looking for. No, it's further back. Yep, that's the one. That's the one we were looking for last time. The black torch on the wall before you cast twisted shadows upon the cavern floor. And so we're, we get to do a bunch of stuff. See, which way do I want to go first? I think I want to go this way first. I'll be honest, I'm not like totally familiar with the interior of this cave. It is a little twisty turny, but once you know it, things are usually pretty easy to find. But we need to put out some torches. Feet shadow wolves. Defeat the Bang of Shadows. And oh yeah, while we're in here, there is a room. Oh, and there's the room. And it appears to be pointing... 50 paces west. So, in this direction. I think. I think it was supposed to be in this direction. Is west. Yeah, those are some big walls there. Leaping shadows. So supposedly somewhere along this corridor was... Ah! Right here. You must face the target. How much more facing the target can I get? Alright, so back the way we came so we can continue mapping this out. So we're up to three torches. We've almost defeated all the wolves we need to defeat. Okay, so if you douse one already, you can't like wait for it to respawn and then redouse it.
that. Oh, another one of these. Shadow of the Eye. And that just connects back to where we were. And this is a dead end. No emphasis on the dead. This way. Another dead end. Right, so we know that that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Oh, yeah, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. We don't know about the other one. So if you learn this place well enough, you can come here and do dailies and get some pretty easy reputation with the Grey Company. Okay, that just loops back. Darling status. It didn't get to snarl very much, did it? Right, so... Another dead end. Okay. Baleful shadow. Ah. Right, so we've doused all of those lights. We found multiple dead ends. We need to head back up towards the front where we've missed a spot. We've seen everything but the Fang of Shadows. Okay, I'm going the right way. I think we want to turn this way. Another shadow of the eye. Nope, we want to go the other way. We've been that way. We already determined that was a dead end. So we've got snorling shadows, howling shadows, baleful shadows. Shadow of the Eye. As you can tell, there are extra torches in here, so. Oh, you stinker. Shame. Bleeping shadows. Shame on that. 
another dead end. Another interconnecting path with a dead end. Okay. I think we're almost done mapping the whole thing out. And I think we are done mapping the whole thing out. So that's pretty much it, as you can see. Now I found everything but the thing of shadow which may not be inside. I kind of need to go straight and then right. Oh, not there. Here. Yep, there's the exit. You're all too busy to do that. How about we leave the place? Oh, there it is. I passed right by it in my hurry to get into the <laughs> into the cave. There's the thing of shadow. Okay, and with all that done, we can head back to Ekandagoras. So that one is actually pretty easy. Once you have all the quests and can do them all at once, it's a pretty easy set of quests to do. You stank her. How dare you? <laughs> Knocks me out. Knocks my horse out from under me. And then proceeds to try to chew my face off. And that's Ekad Degoris up there on that uh, hill. As you could tell, it was once a very lovely elven structure. I don't know if it was an outpost or what, but it was definitely a very lovely elven structure. Yeah, I'm kind of really glad that when mobs kill your horse in this game, they don't make you go out and buy a new one. <laughs> because I don't know how many... <laughs> Horses I've had die on me. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I have your things. Our journey is a long one. I hope not too long. You found and extinguished a number of the strange black torches. I think you have likely found the power behind the shadow wolves. I cannot say whether your efforts will destroy them for good or not, but I will be most surprised if they are able to take up the hunt for us again so soon with their dark power so diminished. You have my gratitude, Medriel. The Algraic remain neutral, but for how long? Excellent. These scrolls were scribed by the most skilled scholar among the elves of Rivendell and will serve us well in our journey south. Actually, that one actually gives us a golden token, so always good to do. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. So, even with the defeat of the Fang of Shadows, we still seem no closer to breaking the spell that binds these terrible spirits. Well, at least that one spell shall not haunt us today, though I suspect we shall see it again before long. My thanks for your efforts, and hopefully a short respite. And, finally. I hope we come to Aragorn's aid in time. Oh, that was the one I just read. Midnight Hunters. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. These fell spirits are relentless, Madriel. Despite your efforts, these creatures reappear in full number. Ah, oh, well, I must thank you for your efforts nonetheless. So as you can see... Black Flames and Midnight Hunters are both redoable once a day. And like I said, they're good to redo once you know the cave. 
It's quick in and out. Get your uh, rep for the area. The great company is grateful for your aid. Might as well grab that again. Will you aid the great company? And um, we have sent many scouts ahead. I think I read this last time. But we will take it now. And that one is for Saradin. But of course, let's go ahead and do the uh, deserter helms and stuff. Because that should not take us too long. Excuse me. Rude. Not who I was looking for. Or what I was looking for. You, on the other hand, I would like to talk to you. I know I'm a stranger in your lands, but, uh, you and your kind, or your brethren, keep attacking me. But worse off, you keep attacking your own people. So, we've been asked to place this last of you. And you too. Uh, a couple more things. Oh, so we still need the leggings. Well, fortunately, there happen to be several Dunlunders here. To get what I need? No problem. Huh, I only got one so far? Are you serious? Are you very serious? Die fool. I guess she's technically a rogue. Or a burglar. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rifle through your things again. Thank you. Okay. One more set of legs. There we go. We got everything we needed. It's time to kill a few more of them than I thought. Because a couple of them didn't really give me anything. I don't know why, but I find the bushes in this area interesting. And the pine trees are actually quite... Quite authentic looking. And tall, thin, a little spindly. I don't know what this tree is supposed to be. Perhaps? No, not. Well, maybe an oak? Nah. Oak leaves wouldn't have pointy edges like that, so I'm not sure what. Okay. Greetings, friend of the Grey Company. Well, thank you. And speaking of my reputation with the Grey Company, what is it? The Grey Company is here. Very, very, very close to making friend with them. So I need to go talk to Saradin at e Cat Saradin. You know, I remember back before they made it so that back before they made it so that the mob levels actually determined whether or not you get XP. 
like if you're more than like eight eight or nine levels lower than the mob you don't get xp from the mobs a friend used to take me and my roommate up into this area in a dwave and we'd be like level 30 and he would take his hunter and pretty much one shot everything or maybe two shot everything and we would get like huge amount of xp from doing that but of course you can't do that anymore because like i said if you're more than eight or nine levels under leveled you just don't get xp but it was good times because it was uh quite the challenge not to get dead in some areas here when you were low level Luban Wern. Yeah, you can leave me alone. Go oh, wait, bird. I'm interested in you. There are other quests, and in fact, if I had probably taken a road, I might have found one or two. I don't know. Maybe I will still find one or two. I'll take that Kazad Scorn. I'm surprised it's still Kazad out here. You would think they would have moved on to the next tier up at this point. Oh, hello, wolf. Sorry. Didn't mean to step on your head. But uh, I'm not stopping for you right now either. Where are we anyway? Oh, you know what? We might as well... We might as well head up this way, because there's a stable up here. I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can, but the wind is blowing pretty mightily in this area. I think I went the right way, didn't I? Yes, I did. believe that's what our destination there let's see if i can remember the name of that that is Honduran. see if i got that right i wouldn't know because i haven't been there yet but i believe that's Honduran. that is actually where your hunter port and your warden recall are when you buy the skills that's where it it takes you to. Oh, and these guys? <laughs> they're no joke. They can be a lot of fun to fight, but they're no joke. And... Have I been here already? What to say to your kind. And I... Wait, 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 wait. What have we to say to each other, Devoriad? I got, I kind of got the pronunciation of that wrong, but yes, I was right. That is Mardarian. Yes, there is actually a stable between here and there. Even though that's pretty close. And this is Lenup. Which we will be spending a lot of time at later. Of course, I was supposed to be finding somebody. Do you know what? Since we're out this way... And I feel like it. We'll go take a look at Hungarian. That's an impressive looking structure from a distance. I don't know what that was supposed to be. It almost looks like some sort of temple. Almost certainly some sort of a meeting place for the people of the area. A lot of half works here. Works. <laughs> I think I got a work on my butt. 
Uh, you can chase me. There's another one. Cute little fox. <laughs> All sorts of wildlife here. So technically, this is part of the area called Thoros Coom. And we will be spending an awful lot of time there, too, when we get there. There's actually a road to get up here, but we're here. How can I be of service? Stable. So, this is Hardarian. You have discovered Hardarian. Not a whole lot to look at. It's pretty bare bones. But you do have one thing up here is your skirmish camp. So, you have vendors, you have your skirmish camp, you have currency exchange. What can I do for you? So, here's where you'll trade your marks for medallions, your medallions for marks. Um, all that good stuff. And then here you can also use your marks and medallions to buy landscape soldier tokens. So, I would have to buy... I would have to buy these, but maximum level 70, so I would actually wait until I could get the next tier up. And basically what that does is give you an hour of having your skirmish soldier out on landscape. And actually, I will buy one of these. That way next time we can see what that's actually like. However, for now, I'm going to take her back to Lanuk, and next time we will go look for Saradin and see what sorts of things he needs from us. How can I be of service? But, until then, bye for now.